Welcome to the Mother House of the Daughters of Charity. My name is Gracie Covarrubias and I am here to invite you on a journey into Louisa's life. It is here at the Mother House that we see Louisa's enduring legacy. She created new opportunities and roles for women in 17th century France that had never been thought of before. And her proactive attitude and go-getter mindset changed the way the church served the world because instead of being cloistered in a convent, Louise and Vincent preached, the streets are my chapel, and they took their work there to make a lasting impact. She opened orphanages, founded the foster care system, served in hospitals, created free schools for girls and homes for the elderly. And by the end of her life, Louise had grown into her role as a woman of spirit and action in ways far beyond her imagination. Ultimately, her Lumiere vision was fulfilled. On March 15, 1660, Louise was laid to rest, having lived a beautiful and challenging life in devout service to others. Her life's work, her legacy, is all around us today. Today, we know St. Louise as the patron saint of social work in the Catholic Church. However, her impact extends far beyond the church and even the Vincentian family. In fact, her life's work laid the foundation for many of the modern systems of social work that we see around us all today. We talk a lot about how Louise's pious nature guided her in life. It inspired her to see the human dignity of everyone and to fight for what is right and just. Louise wasn't brave every moment of her life, no saint or sinner is, but she was brave when it mattered the most. She was brave enough to believe in her faith and the people that she served. And it's that bravery and persistence that made her such a profound trailblazer for social work, justice, and equity. It's an understatement to say that Louise's legacy lives on today and every day. And in truth, it feels impossible to believe that 400 years have passed since she lived. When I think about Louise, I think about her as living alongside us all right now. I think about all the ways she'd be organizing people to call state representatives to make healthcare accessible for everyone. I think about the people she'd gather together to make face masks for every community. I think about the daycare service she'd direct for frontline workers. And I think about the Zoom calls she'd arrange to check on leaders from every community across our city. Because when I think of Louise, I think of every woman I know and love embodying just a little bit of her persistence. Most importantly, I think about how Louise has taught us that every single act of kindness and service is in fact a radical act, demanding equity and love by recognizing the dignity in us all. The Daughters of Charity Mother House represents a community of women each day that show up to serve communities all across the world. Headquartered here in Paris, France, where it all began, this Mother House is a testament to the power of women, community, and service. Today, the Daughters of Charity serve our world in ways that would astound Louise. They too live out her Lumiere, which became the guiding light for this order of sisters. The lessons Louise learned are timeless and relevant to us all today. And so in the spirit of reflection, I invite you to answer the question, where are you now and where do you hope to be? We wish you immense joy as you navigate your own journey in finding purpose and living a meaningful life, much like Louise did too. Buen Camino.